You okay? Uh, I don't know. Are we going to get out? I'm not sure about that either. But they're going to see us out here, you know? No, they won't. My mom can't even get up off the couch and we can hide, like, underneath the steering what, wheel. What, are you afraid of your mother now? Yeah. What? Yeah, I've always been afraid of my mom. Just wait till you meet her. She's terrifying. That's not new information that I'm scared of her. Are they really all that bad? Uh, no, not compared to, like, I don't know, the Black Plague or, you know, hurricanes. Are you going to be like Florida this the whole time or... we're here? No, it's going to be much worse once we get inside. Johnny! <sighs> Look, I'm sorry, but, um, this wasn't my idea of a vacation. We said this we were going to This isn't your vacation. idea at all. Oh, I know. It was my idea. Yeah. Because I knew you regret skipping out on your father's funeral. You know nothing. Come on, we already flew all the way up here. We rented the car. We drove to your home. I mean, aren't you ready to... I want to be back in Virginia. Well, the sooner we get this over with, the sooner we can get back to the wedding planning. <laughs> Is that supposed to entice me? Get out of the car, Johnny. Okay. Hi. Johnny! Uh, this is my fiance, Carly. Oh, hi there, stranger. Ooh. <laughs> um. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Deb, Johnny's sister. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Well, my mother's in the back. If you'd all like to come in for a spell. Yeah, sure. Okay. Ready for this? Do I look ready? You look uncomfortable. Then I must be ready. Johnny? Is that you? Ma. Hey there, sonny boy. How you been? Good, Ma. Been good. And who's this, huh? Uh, this is Carly, my fiance. I told you about her on the phone. Oh, right. Carly, you mentioned... Sorry, I just pictured her looking a little different. It's really nice to meet you, ma'am. The only girls Johnny ever brought home were total sluts. So forgive me for thinking that of you. I'm well, sorry? I just mean that I'm glad you finally found somebody that's better than a common whore. Thank you. What well, time's the funeral tomorrow? <sighs> God, the funeral. Can't we just sit and visit for a while? I haven't seen you in 15 years. Can't you just tell me a little bit more about yourself? Uh, not much has changed, Ma. I, uh, I got a job in an accounting firm. Doing what? Accounting. I'm an accountant. That's where I met Carly. Ah, oh, I work. No, it's school. Then what do you do? I'm an accountant, too. Why? I like numbers. So, the funeral. Yeah. Tomorrow at noon. We should all be ready to leave to go to the funeral home about 11 o'clock. Does it take that long to get there? Son, have you ever been to a funeral before? I don't, I, I wouldn't remember. Apparently not. Weren't you about to fix this lunch? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I must have gotten sidetracked. <laughs> My children, the epitome of memory retention. You're not exactly the archetype of mental health yourself, Ma. I'm not the what? The architect? Archetype. Acolyte? Archetype. Don't make me jump out of this chair, boy. I still got some spring in my step. You don't even have springs left in your mattress, Mom. I said, don't start! Both of you, just calm down. I don't remember asking you to butt in. Ma, stop. You know, I hate defiance. And I won't have it in this house. From either of you.
I was really sorry to hear about your husband, Mrs. Spencer. Okay. That doesn't change anything. I was just trying to be respectful. Don't worry about her, Carl's. It's impossible for her to simulate any kind of human emotion during times like this. I resent that. How dare you speak to me like that? I didn't say it to you. I said it to her. That comment was still directed to me. Please! Can we not have peace in this house? No. She's right, Ma. We're being petty. Maybe you are. I'm just being Daphne. That's all I've ever been. And that's all I'll ever be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah yourself. I can't do this anymore. This is boring me to death. Are you coming, Deb? Well, I should probably go with her. Just to make sure she's comfortable. Hey, is Sal here? Sal? Yeah, did he go with you? Uh, no. Uh, he, uh... Well, we had... Is everything okay? Yeah. Uh, no. It's just that we're recently separated. We're getting a divorce. Oh, I'm so sorry, Deb. Thanks, huh? That's sweet. Yeah, what happened? It just didn't work out? Yeah. Uh, we just we grew apart and uh, decided to call it quits. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be for the best. I hope so. In the long run. Well. So, what'd you think? They seem nice. Really? Come on. They're both insane. Okay, I'd be wrong to judge them off a single meeting. That was all you needed. That's how this entire weekend's gonna be. That's how they always are. Okay, well, I'd still like to give them the benefit of the doubt. Good luck with that. Wait, where are you going? I'm gonna go get our stuff. Uh, can I say something first? I'm not sure the next time we'll be alone. Yeah, what's up? It's just, I did the math, and you said you haven't been home for 15 years, so... That means that you... I was 16. I was 16 when I moved to Virginia. It was... That was half my life ago. Right, but you were so young, so why... Can we talk about this later? Please. But the wedding's in... Don't worry about the wedding. Please, don't worry about the wedding. Can we just make it through the funeral? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Halifax. Hi there. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know anyone else was out here. Don't mind me. I'm just taking in all the scenery. It is a beautiful place. You here for the funeral too? Yeah, I'm Carly. I'm Johnny's fiance. And judging by the dark hair, dark clothes, and dark makeup, you must be... Joy. Of course. And how are you related to the family? I'm Deb's daughter. Oh, I'm so sorry. Jeez, hate her already? It usually takes 16 years of resentment to oh, get to no. that point. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I meant your mother told me about the divorce, and I was really sorry to hear about that. 
it's not your fault my dad ran off with a hooker. Well, I'm sorry? You sure do say that a lot. What do you mean, ran off with a... About two weeks ago, my dad decided he liked this hooker more than me and my mom. So they ran off together, and who knows where they are now. Well, I'm sure she's doing the best she can. Can't be any worse than my mother. What do you mean? Abuse? Hard drugs? A little bit of both. Fuck, man. That's hardcore. Hey, that's no way a girl your age should be talking. Save the sermon for the pulpit. I'm so not interested. Joy, how old are you? 16. You really think a 16-year-old girl should be swearing like that? Um, is anybody supposed to swear? I need to go get my bag. Hey, Carly. Yeah? You like to get high? What? You know. You can't be serious. Why not? It'll loosen you up. Joy, that stuff is bad for you. It's gonna kill every brain cell you've got. Come on, I can't smoke all of this by myself. <gasps> Holy shit, where'd you get that much pot? I'm not telling. Did your mother know about this? Please, she'd freak out if I was taking aspirin, let alone cold hard weed. Okay, I'm sure that's not true. Dude, I thought you were cool. I am cool. Then smoke with me. No. You seem high strung. Are you high strung? Are you? I'm not high strung. You act high strung. Well, I'm not high strung. Jeez, you could have fooled me. Just make sure that stuff disappears before your mother finds out. Oh, I have every intention on making it disappear. Hey. You're not gonna tell my mom, are you? No, of course not. Thanks. You might be pretty cool after all. Hey, wait, can I ask you something? What? Have you spent much time around here before? No, this is my first time meeting any of these people. Okay, well, what do you think of everyone? You know, one outsider to the other. Oh, everyone's completely insane. And not in a charming way either. But I feel like it's an insanity that I could learn to get used to. You know? Yeah, I guess. Thanks. No problem. And if you want to speak more, I'll be in my room now let me know. What you looking for? Oh, sorry, you scared me. Those covers can be a bit of a mess. Tell me what you're looking for and I might be able to find it for you. Uh, oh, just, I... Ever have maple syrup on a stick? Can't say I have. Well, here, I'll get them. Oh, here, let me, let me get them. I can get them. Ever been to a funeral before? Yes, when I was 10 for my great-grandmother. Tomorrow ought to be real fun for you then. Are Canadian funerals different? I can't say. Looks good though, Mr. Spencer in his blue suit. Had to go down there this afternoon to deliver the clothes. They let me see the body. Cleaned him up real nice. Didn't think they'd be able to. Johnny ever tell you what happened to him? No, he didn't. <laughs> well, Anthony was infamous for these little benders he used to go on. He called them benders, but most normal people would call them drunken rampages. Anyway, he has a few too many one night and decides he He's going to try to pick a fight with me. Don't 
Trust me, we're going to sit the hoot. So we get to arguing. He gets his fill pretty fast. And he storms out of the house in a drunken fury. He gets in his car, starts down the road, and gets about two blocks from the house. When he slams smack into the Doberman Silver Birch. Did John ever tell you about that birch they had in their front lawn? No. Pretty damn tree I ever laid my fucking eyes on. Just gone. He was messed up real bad. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank God for modern medical science. Who knows what we'll be looking up at us from the casket tomorrow otherwise. Well, I think I'm going to call it a night. Thanks for the thing. You're welcome, darling. See you bright and early. Hey. Need some help? How you feeling? Feel nothing. You'll be fine. Hello? Is anybody here? Do you mind seeing who that is? Yeah. I'll be right out. Sure. Hello. Are you coming with us to the funeral? What do you think? It's Eric and Marie. I'm sorry? Eric and Marie. Spencer! I'm Marie. Hi, I'm Carly. Nice to meet you. So, what are you? New maid? Oh, no. I'm Johnny's fiance. Oh! <laughs> Carly. Yes. <laughs> of course. We heard you were coming along. Johnny told us everything. We are very excited for the both of you. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, but... But what? I'm sorry, I'm just a little bit lost as to who you are. Come on. It's Eric and Marie. I'm Marie. Right, but... Howdy, y'all! Howdy. <laughs> Marie? Uh, well, Carly, you've met my brother Eric and his wife Marie. I'm Marie. Yes, it's a pleasure. <laughs> Johnny. Eric. Long time no see. Yeah, you look good. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Bruises all healed a long time ago. What? It's a Canadian joke. You guys ready to go? Go. <laughs> we just got here. Yeah, but the funeral's in an hour. I guess it takes a little bit to get there. We should probably, we should probably head out. Yeah. Give me a minute to freshen up. I should be good to go. Let's go see if Mother needs any help. Excuse me. Hey there. How's my favorite niece doing? I'm fine, Uncle Eric. How are you? Hanging in there. That's uh, the real pretty dress you got on. Thanks. Do you need anything else? No. Uh, your mom's looking for you, though. It's about time to head on out. Tell her I'll be right down. Alrighty then. See you soon. The hell? Roman Polanski. Deb, could you pour me some wine? You know what the doctor said about your drinking, Mother Dearest. Wine isn't a real drink. Wine's good for
for you. Wine is drinking. I don't know why I even bother talking to you. All you ever do is whine. <laughs> you know what? Here, drink yourself to death. I don't care. Well, well. Look who's finally decided to grow a backbone all of a sudden. Good for you, honey. It only took you 35 years. Ma, is that really necessary? Well, I am so sorry if I'm not exactly pleasant to be around. My father died today. Your father died three weeks ago. But we didn't bury him until today. It's finally now just starting to hit home that he's gone. Well, boo-hoo. You lost your father. Well, he was my husband. And he left me just as much as he left you. Uh, Daphne, this pasta is really great. Why, thank you, dear. How'd you make it? I don't know. I just threw it in the pot. Really nice how they fixed him up like that. Fixed who like what, Mama? Your father. After the accident? Oh, yeah. Right. What did they do? They fixed up his face and everything because he hit a tree. Remember? Looked the same as he always did to me. How you liking your new nose, Marie? My what? It looks good. But it sounds like the side effects haven't completely worn off. Since you can't seem to see straight. I can see fine. I don't think there are any side effects like that for a nose job, Ma. Well, you're not one to talk. What does that mean? Surely you don't expect us to believe that you lost all that weight without a little lipo. Hey, everybody. Sorry, Emily. Joy, why don't we just go up to your room and you can show oh, me that? Oh, no, no. I just got here. Sorry, everyone. What did I miss? Are you out of your mind, child? Why are you acting like this? Acting like what? I'm fine. Are you on something right now? Nope. Just high on life, Mom. High on life. What did you take? Was it aspirin? No. Are you high on aspirin? No, you can't get high on aspirin, Mom. Well, you better tell me what it is that you took right now. Or I'm oh, just to... leave the poor girl alone. Stay out of this, Mother. It doesn't concern you. The hell it doesn't. Well, you didn't give her the drugs, did you? What was I supposed to do? Just let them go bad? Jesus Christ. What? I found some premium shit that my doctor gave me a couple years ago for my glaucoma. Poor thing, so stressed out all the pot? time. I just thought I would give her You some... gave my daughter pot? You know, it's really not that much, Deb. So what do why you know just... about it? I just... Uh, don't get her into this. She only saw me with some. So Joy, you don't... knew? You found out and you didn't tell me? What was I supposed to do? Act like an adult? Don't pander to a... Child? I'm not a child. Shut up, everybody! Just shut up! I've been thinking about getting rid of all your father's things. Do any of you want any of it? Johnny? What? No. I don't think so, Mom. You sure? What about that old dresser upstairs? I'll let you have it for a good price. You want me to buy my father's things off of you? Don't worry. I'll be reasonable. I won't slaughter you like some old Jew.
I'm not buying your shit from you, Ma. Come on. I'm willing to negotiate. Why don't you start with a price and I'll see if I can match it. Or we could just wait until you die. Then we can come pick it up for free. How about that? Jesus Christ. Leave her alone. She's grieving. We're all grieving. You're not. You never gave a shit about this family. What are you defending her for? She treated you like shit just like the rest of us. You're no better than anyone else here, so it'd be best for you if you just stopped acting so, uh, superior. Fuck off, Eric. Mama's boy. You're just jealous because I turned out so much better than you ever did. Oh, really? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Just shut up, Eric. Mama, please, I am trying to defend you. You think I need you to defend myself? Blow it out of your ass! What do you think Dad say he saw you acting like this? Who gives a fuck? Ma! Do not yell at me across my own table! It's not my fault he was a fucker. <laughs> Where's that coming from, Grandma? Cause he is! He hasn't left me out of nowhere. How was I supposed to know he was depressed? What made you think he was depressed? Because he hung himself in the attic, you blubbering cow. What? I don't know why. Wanted to get away from me what? so bad. He didn't no, just what? leave like no normal. Person. Ma, what? The, wait, what the fuck are you talking Tony. about? No, stay out of this. What the fuck are you talking about? You said he died in a car accident. Well, that a makes a tree. better story now, doesn't it? It's what he deserved. No, no. Doubt. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you? You know what? Why am I even surprised? No one in this fucking family ever tells the truth about anything. Oh, that's bullshit, and you oh, know it. Shut the fuck up, mom. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, Yes, I'm telling you what to do. Shut no. the fuck up and eat your dinner. Just, no! That's all. Just shut I up and eat your my pasta. Test in my He's, own a pasta. He's a fucking pasta, no. bitch! No, no bitch. Will eat not. it! Fuck, no. you. fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Don't! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. I can't with her anymore. Sit down, Johnny. Sit. Down. Now. I think we should talk when you get a chance. Let's go to the bedroom. I'll be in a second. Okay. Baby brother. It's quite a show we put on, huh? <laughs> we need to have a conversation about Carly. What about her? She's no good for you, Johnny. You need to break up with her. What are you talking about? She knew my child was doing drugs and did absolutely nothing to stop her. She practically encouraged She didn't encouraged do her. anything wrong, Deb. She just saw her with a little bit of weed. She wasn't driving her around to meth labs or anything. It's all the same to me, Johnny. We can't trust her. She's not good for this family. This family's fucking insane. And no offense, but I'm not taking relationship advice from you. Well, I warned you. And no one can say that I didn't. Duly noted. You okay? 
Uh, no, not really. What did you want to talk to me about? I think you should tell me what happened when they sent you away. Why would I want to do that? Because I feel really behind on everything and I'd appreciate it if you caught me up to speed. When I was 16, my family and I were fighting 24-7, as you can see. So I called my uncle in Virginia and asked if I could live with him. That's it? That's it. I feel like you That's the end of it. You believe me? Of course. Okay. Let's go to bed. I'm tired. What? Who is it? Hi there. Hi. What you doing up here? Nothing. Mm, doesn't smell like nothing. What do you want? That over there would be a good start. No way, that's mine. Give me a break. My father just died. Is that why you're drinking? Oh, you want some? How about a trade? Bet your throat's awful dry after smoking that ganja all day. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Tit for tat, remember? Come in, someone might see you. smoke shit this good since high school. <laughs> Your turn. What are you doing? It's getting more comfortable. It's not a crime now, is it? Don't. up, Joy. You must not be smoking this shit right if you're still an uptight little bitch. You need to go. Said he came into her room drunk and forced himself on her. 
fucking kidding me? You need to call the police. No, I'll handle it. What did you do? Where are you going? I'll be right back, I promise. Shit! What? Johnny, no! Stop what it! Johnny, doing? what are you doing? What's the matter? You too tired from raping young girls? Stand oh, what does that mean? What does he mean? He raped Joy. Oh! Stop it! Stop it! Stop hitting him! She probably had it coming wearing all those baggy sweatpants and shit all the time! How do you expect him to control himself? He's just a man! What the uh, fuck is going on here? I'll scream uh, it about. It's one in the damn morning! How am I supposed to sleep through all this? Everything's fine, don't worry. Uh, Johnny, are you hitting your older brother again? What'd we tell you about that? You can't afford any more strikes. What is she talking about? Nothing. Go check on Joy. What does she mean, any more strikes? Oh, he used to fight like this all the time. School, bars, everywhere. Why do you think we sent him to live with his uncle in the first place? We couldn't handle him anymore. I don't believe you. No, baby, stop, stop. You see what you do? What the fuck is wrong with you? Ma, G give me. Huh? Oh. You okay, Daddy? Uh -huh. Carly, what are you doing? I'm calling the police. Yeah, I'd like to report a rape. What happened? Eric raped Joy. What are you talking about? Who told you that? She did. My daughter was raped. And she went to you first? Yeah. What are you doing? We can't go to the police about this. Why not? Because it embarrasses the family. Rape and incest? That's not something this town is likely to forget. I can't believe you people. Your daughter just had her innocence stolen from her and all you care about is protecting everyone else? I wouldn't expect you to understand. You're not from around here. But this town is very big on families and their history. I don't give a shit about that. Give me the phone. Make me. What are you doing? I need to go. I can't spend another minute in this house. Yeah, you're right. I'll get us on the next flight no, out of here. No, don't. Just leave it. What? I, I can't. I can't do this anymore, Johnny. You can't do what? What are you talking? About? I I can't. I just I don't know what's going on anymore, Are and they I need to, to me. get out. What are you no, about? I can't. Talk Stop! I can't do this. What the fuck are you saying? Look at yourself. Look at what they've done to you. You're not the man I thought you were. Carl's. No, just, no you just, lied to me. You told no, me. No, I didn't, Carl. Don't interrupt me. Listen. You told me you left on your own to live with your uncle and they sent you away. You're just as bad as they are. I mean, your sister and the divorce, your batshit mother and how your father died. It's just too much. You've spent our entire relationship talking about how awful they are when you're no different. I can't believe you any more than I can believe any of them. Yeah, I'm sorry how I never wanted to talk about how my family abandoned me to the States! Who the fuck wants to bring that up? You can't just fall in love with someone, ask them to marry you, Baby, please, and not- No, please, stop! I said out. don't interrupt me! What is it gonna take for you to realize what this is? There's no going back and making things better. There's no way I'm marrying you after all that's happened. It's just too much. I'm not sure if insanity is hereditary, but- I'll be damned if I take that chance. No, Just get you out don't. of the way. Joy. Joy, honey, please come out and talk to me. Joy, it's Carly. Open up. What are you doing in here? I came to get my inhaler. Okay, pack a bag. We're leaving. What? You heard me, now.
Wait! Wait just a minute! What do you think you're doing? If you think you're gonna take my daughter away from me, you've got another thing coming. You really think you can stop me? She's my kid! They'll arrest you for kidnapping. Oh, so now you want to call the police. I wouldn't be so quick to call them up since you'll have to explain why I'm taking her away. How will that make you look as a mother? I'm ready. Don't try coming after us. You know she'll be better off with me. Joy! Where are we going? I need to get you to a hospital. You know I mean after. I don't know, honey, but I can almost guarantee you it's going to be very different and very far away from Halifax, Nova Scotia. Stand on guard for 